Hey guys, Doug here, back at Secret Lake, my favorite place in the world. I've been going since about uh, 4.30 this morning, really took my time and uh, just plotted my way up the lake and uh, I'm getting close to uh, where I normally camp and haven't seen a soul all day, so it's probably my lake <laughs> for the, a few days, so I'm excited. I told myself I wasn't going to fish but on the way up, but as you know how I am, I can't, uh, I can't go past this little spot here. I've got, uh, I've got a ways to go yet, and I see this little uh, reed spot over here, and I'm like, I might not even get back this way until I come home. What kind of a man would go by a fishing spot like that? So. Do a couple quick casts, see if we can uh, get any fish. Okay, let's do a play-by-play. Uh, play. I can just see the open water here, and there's a bunch of uh, reed-type plants sticking up over here. And if I was a fish, I think I would want to sit right on the edge of them. So let's see, first cast of our outing. If we can uh, get anything here, back up just a little bit. Turn the camera just a little bit. All right. Oh, terrible cast! Shoot! Dog on! <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> oh boy. I know you can't see me. I'll turn you around. First cast, first fish. Yes. Let's just do one more then. You see how the open lake here, and it's just a bunch of reeds. They gotta be just sitting around in here. Let's go right in front of me here. Maybe a little bit shallow here. What? No fish lake. <laughs> Get some goop off of here. It is so beautiful back here. Okay, cast again. Oh my goodness. I'm going to lose my paddle. Oh. That's not a bad one. There you go. Okay. Let's not uh, waste the whole video in the first. 10 minutes, so I gotta play a little bit more, but if I catch more, I'll let you know. We're off to a good start. So yeah, I, uh, I had to put the rod down and uh, keep on trekking, but I can't believe how beautiful it is here. It is so nice. The weather is perfect. The colors are perfect, and uh, I'm just so happy to, to get away. So anyway, I have to, uh, before I do any more fishing whatsoever, I must, must, must get to camp, set up my camp, get some firewood, and then I can play all I want. It's going to be a fun few days. I'm going to eat some fish because I don't have any food. I <laughs> very much food. I'm counting on some fish. I'd like to do a little bit of carving if I can. So, yeah. Looks like camp is mine again. I know other people come here and camp, but I have yet to not get my spot. <laughs> so that's great. Like I said, it's a weekday and I haven't seen a soul yet. And uh, to be honest, I 
probably won't. So I'm glad I got my camp. As you've seen in the past, it's just a typical uh, northern fish camp style camp. But it's, as much as you don't like seeing it, it's always kind of nice to have a little table too. So I'm going to find somewhere to uh, set up my tent and uh, get some firewood. Get camp in order.
Alright, camp is set up. I got lots of firewood for supper tonight and the campfire after. And just gonna make myself real quick coffee and then I'm gonna get out and uh, do some fishing, which is my supper. So it's about uh, pushing three o'clock right now. So it's already been a long day, but now the fun begins. So, I have a quick coffee, catch some fish, do some sightseeing, and just uh, relax. By the way, found this chair hanging in a tree over there. So, now I'm really set. pads over there. Oh, I did have one. Hey, that's a better bass. Wow. Nice. Sorry. You want to see too? <laughs> I guess I'll show you too. Look at that thing. Wow. That's a good bass. Nice. I don't think we need to keep anything to eat yet though. We'll let him back. Turn you around again. Oh, well, I guess he's not, uh, not as big as the last guy, but still a decent fish. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. It doesn't even seem real back here. scrapper. Wow, that's got to be a good sized fish. Whoa, that is a good sized fish. Whew. That's a, that's a big one. Another hog. These are good sized fish. I haven't been uh, filming too much. I've just been throwing fish back. It's going to come a point very soon. I'm going to have to keep one and fillet it up. But in the meantime, I'm just having some fun. I know that uh, the video's passed. Nobody wants to see every fish caught. 
Nice one though. Alright. <laughs> Next. Wait till you see the size of this one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's the first tiny one I've caught since I started. Oh yes. Oh, it's not even very big. Get in my boat. Oh. Woo. <laughs> it's a fish. I don't care. I'll try for another one, but for now, this is what it is. Holy smokes. I've been it's 620. I've been trying to catch a fish for the last hour. The fish just shut right down. And I'm like, oh, I gotta get supper. I've been throwing them back all day long. And now when it comes for supper time, I had nothing. So I got one and uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can get another one. But man, I even I set up my, uh, my camera across the lake there just to uh, catch the, the sunset because I was like, I'm afraid I'm going to miss it because otherwise I'm going to go go jigging rock points with a jig and try and spook up a walleye right at this time of day because the sun's setting quick. Oh, I'm so happy. So happy. I'm not going to starve. <laughs> All day long, throwing them back, throwing them back. Ah, oh, well, I'll keep the next one. Oh, I'll keep it. Ah, oh, that one's too big. That one's too small. Just farting around. And then the fish, they just stopped dead. I'm telling you, there's more airplanes here than at home. There's float planes going in other lakes around here. And all day long, I've been hearing float planes in and out, in and out. Check this out. I'm farting around with the camera, trying to get you, show you the stupid airplane. Monster bass takes my rod, just about takes the whole rod in the water. Oh my goodness, what excitement now. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, there he is again. Yes. No, they're not very big. You're not very big at all. No. Oh. Shoot. Okay. Ooh. So bright. So bright. Time to head back to camp. Goodbye, son. Hello, moon.
I gotta go get that uh, have to go get that time-lapse camera soon before it gets too dark it's on the far far end of the island but uh, let's watch the uh, time-lapse sunset Well, I can't wait anymore. I'm starving to death. <laughs> it sure cooled down when that uh, sun went away. Last night it was uh, below freezing. There was a heavy frost on the, I saw all the roofs this morning, but I don't think that's going to be the case tonight. A little bit warmer, but it's not hot. I got my woolly soon. Anyway, I just put the uh, fish in the Rocky Madsen's Fish Crisp. Shouldn't really have flames with this, but like I said, I can't wait. Alright, here we go. Food. Alright, here goes nothing. Whoa! That's hot. Ha 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 I don't think I've ever cooked fish that fast in my life. That was so fast. Well, I sure am glad you've caught that fish. Like I said, all day long. Throwing fish back. Oh, that'll be way. That'll be lots more. And they just shut right down. I was, uh, I was nervous for a few minutes. I paddled all around everywhere that I had caught a fish earlier, trying to find another one. No go. I got that one and I got another one <laughs> but. so what I got here is a uh, you can't see that <laughs> how can I do this so what I've got here is a just a piece of pine cut off a branch and uh, yeah I'm just gonna have at it like I said there's no way in the world I can get this done tonight because uh, I'm fading but I could start finish up in the morning but I cut myself a little a little block here and I got my little hatchet so you should be okay 
got my headlamp. I know that I can see much better than uh, than you can see, so I won't uh, I won't make you watch too much of this. I'll come back every once in a while and fill you in. That's got knots in it. My knots. Kind of tough, tough carving. Should have tested it first, but there's your there's your clue. <laughs> All right, so I was gonna peck away at this. Like I said, no sense in trying to show the camera because it's blacker than the inside of the blue cow out here. So I'll just fart around and keep bringing you back like this. All right. Well. That block of wood is uh, good for the fire. <laughs> I uh, I know you can't see this, but I rolled the edge right off of this knife in those pine knots. Pine knots are hard, they'll chip an axe, but I didn't realize that. I just started carving away on there and yeah, I got to take that home and get her fixed up. Very rough. So, lucky for me, in my little bag of tricks here, just happened to have a piece of basswood and another, another knife, so switching the basswood. a little update that's where we are but I'm so happy I got a hole through the hand with my little uh, start out with the little uh, what do you call it all and uh, just worked it worked it through but I still couldn't get the right angle but I got the hole in pretty much both ways and I took a little little dockyard tool and then just worked it worked it through the middle so that's where we are not much to look at yet but yep it's gonna keep me going all night now <laughs> 10 o'clock you know this is a problem with carving I get so wrapped up in it I let the fire go out, just about, just down the coals, wasn't even thinking about it. But what a time suck. I don't know what I would be doing if I wasn't carving. I'd be sitting there uh, thinking, reading a book, but this is a... Uh, a great, great camp time. Anyway, this is where we're at right now. We've got a ways to go yet, but uh, we're getting there. Again, not what I set out to do. He just kind of keeps evolving, and now he's uh, he'll be similar to something I've, I've done before. But that's okay. I think I got, uh, no I know, I got some paints here, so in the morning probably when, after I've had my coffee, we'll paint them up, but for tonight I want to get the, the carving part finished, and uh, we'll paint them up in the morning, but yeah, like I said, a ways to go yet, but we're making progress. Back again, I am calling it quits for tonight. There's a wind picking up, getting a chill, and uh, I'm ready for bed. So, this is where we are, but we'll, uh, we'll have to finish them up in the morning. I have to clean up my mess and uh, go to bed.
Well, good morning. Hopefully that was just the most epic coffee pour ever. <laughs> what a gorgeous morning. Cool, but uh, it's beauty. I got all the clothes that I own on right now. And uh, I'm just starting to feel real comfy. Slept really well. But yeah, first order of business is coffee. Then we're going to dig out the, our little buddy that we started last night. Let's see if we can uh, do a little more carving. And just relax. Foreign concept, relaxing. can't beat coffee in the morning, especially in the bush. Wood smoke, coffee. Anyway, I'm gonna drink my coffee and uh, do a little carping in the sunshine. Looking at my guy from uh, last night. He's a little bit rougher than uh, I imagined, but uh, I think he's still going to turn out fine. But headlamp and firelight hides a few things. But just getting it all cleaned up now. But yeah. He's going to be holding a, a stick. He's going to do some eyes and the beard. And I brought uh, some, some paints along. I may just paint them up too. Well, there you have it. There's my, my little guy, all done up. He turned out okay after all. It was uh, kind of tough, tough painting him, but uh, we got it. Took a little bit longer than normal. I don't have all of the stuff that I would normally have at home, but real fun. What a great little hobby to, to carry along with you and uh, play with. 
don't forget I mentioned in the last video I'm going to do a long part series on uh, starting introduction to wood carving where I'm going to break up all the little little uh, segments of you know carving woods cuts safety painting keeping your knife sharp all that jazz and I'm going to start that probably when I get home but anyway it's just it's just one of the best things I've ever found to keep my hands busy and uh, man just it eats time like you wouldn't believe but on that note I think I'm gonna call it a video I think you've uh, I know I've got lots of footage and I think I'll just pack up the camera and then just have some dug time I'm gonna do some more fishing some exploring and yeah yeah so thanks for watching as usual and uh, I will catch you on the next one see you guys